Hello again. In this lesson, we are going to talk about icons. And don't miss the advanced lesson where we are going to talk about creating a full library of icons added to your library that you can reuse in all your presentations and also how to find icons online, download them and bring them to Prezi. In this lesson, we are going to talk about the basics. Let's move this image here because this is a topic that we are using for our practices. Let's delete some stuff here. And make some room. Your icons are in the insert, remember, topics, containers of information and stuff that we put inside. In this case, we are working with icons. So the first option is add from my library, but we will leave that for the advanced lesson. Uh, for now, keep it simple. When you add from my library, you have your icons that you can choose, but we are going to talk about how to effectively use my library further on in the advanced lesson. You have different categories of icons like blue user interface, circuit bubbles, doodles. And you can also search by making a search. We are presented with I related options in the category that we choose, which is doodle. So we have results in Doodle, but then we have all the rest in other categories. And you will find the different I related icons in all the categories just below. Blue user interface. This is a very cool kind of icon. Circle icons colorful icons. This is sort of pastel color icons. Filled are sort of isometric icons that are in full color. Infographic like icons and finally outlined. However, in the advanced lesson, we are going to talk about how to create our own library of icons. Icons are vectorial. And in order to include your own icon to Prezi, it needs to be in the PDF format. You can change the color using the style preset, which is the colors that we set for our theme. We can choose a specific color from global palette or a custom color. And we can also manipulate the saturation of the color. Original color, full new color. Also, we can use the color picker to choose a color from any of the images. Let's keep our theme color. And because these are vectorial, we can do the same with any icon. We can change the color of any icon. And you can also send icons to your library. So when you add an icon to your library, your library is global. When you add an element to your library, you can use it in any presentation, not only on this one. And finally, a uh, technical detail on icons. Icons are vectorial. So if I zoom in to an icon, the resolution is infinite because they are vectorial. They are dynamic drawings, not pictures. You can see the difference here. 
This is an image. Do you see how it gets pixelated and the border is rough? It's because it's an image. And if you zoom in a lot, it loses resolution. So that's it for now on icons. Again, please take a look at the advanced lesson on icons because we are going to actually create a full library of icons made by you uh, that you can use in all your presentations.